some muggles, how's it going? It's Sophie, I am back with another video. <laughs> Alright, so today I'm in my Slytherin robe, as you can see, and as you guys are aware, I am a huge, passionate Slytherin. I love being in Slytherin, and I just love showing off my house pride. I made a video a couple of months ago titled Slytherin Problems, where I just state the problems of being in Slytherin. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, make sure you do, I'll leave it in the description down below. But that video got a lot of love, it helped out a lot of Slytherins, a lot of Slytherins could relate to that video. But today I'm doing another Slytherin themed video, today I'm going to say reasons why being in Slytherin is great. Because the Slytherin house is very misunderstood. We've got people in Slytherin who love being in Slytherin, but then we also have those people who get sorted in Slytherin and are like, huh? Hello? No, I'm bad. I'm bad. Oh no, I can't look at myself ever again. I'm in the same house as Voldemort. Everything's bad. Just before I start this video, just because you're in Slytherin does not make you a bad person. If you guys want me to do more Slytherin themed videos, give it a big thumbs up. And also give a big thumbs up if it doesn't matter what house you're in, you respect everyone. Leave in the comments down below what house you are in. And if this is the first time you are seeing my face, hit subscribe because I do a lot of Harry Potter videos, as you can see by my background. Hopefully this helps out those people who are struggling to come to the term that they're in Slytherin because it's not all bad. But anyway, enough talk. Let's give you some reasons why being in Slytherin is freaking damn awesome. All right, so first up, Merlin, yes, the greatest wizard was in Slytherin. Yes, Merlin. That's so cool. As Slytherin, we win a lot of things. Before Harry bloody Potter came along, we were on course to win the House Cup for the seventh time in a row. And talk about winning things, we win Quidditch all the time. We are badass at Quidditch. And yes, a bunch of Slytherins did sit out the Battle of Hogwarts. But surely that's a smart move. So many people died during that battle while we're sat at home with a cup of tea watching some telly. Smart. Our common room is awesome. Our common room is unique. Like, look at the beauty of that. Out of all the houses, I'm sorry, but Slytherin have got to win for the best common room. And we get to chill there every day. And green is a great color. Like, no one looks bad in green. Look how sexy this is right now on me. No one looks bad in green. Green is a great color. A trait of a Slytherin is ambition. And ambition means success. We are successful individuals. And also, we have some fit lads in our house. Look at the sexiness of those men. Like, who wouldn't want to look at that every day? Even though Voldemort was a bad person, you still have to respect the caliber of the wizards that Slytherin produces. Like, even though Voldemort was very bad, he is so powerful. For that to be created is you have to respect it in a way because even though it's all bad and it's all anger, the power of Voldemort that Slytherin has produced. And also another big thing, us Slytherins, we get merchandise. The Ravenclaws and the Hufflepuff struggle. Every time they go into a shop, they just see Gryffindor and Slytherin stuff. We get a lot of merchandise. It's easy to get Slytherin posters. It's easy to get Slytherin pillows, but it's very tricky to get Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw stuff. So that's a massive thing when it comes to buying stuff. And also we have the most incredible head of house. This man right here. Look at the beauty of this man. Who wouldn't want him as a head of house? Slytherin have some of the most interesting and complex characters. We have Savarus Snape. We have Draco Malfoy, the boy that had no choice. We have Tom Riddle. All these characters you want to know more about, they're the most interesting and most complex characters. All the characters that I want to look more into are in Slytherin. I want to look at Tom Riddle's childhood. I want to look at Snape's childhood. I want to look at Malfoy's childhood. I want to learn more about them and I want to look further into their background. And I believe they're the most interesting characters. And finally, our house is the most misunderstood house there is out there. So I feel like when we meet another Slytherin, our connection is a lot more powerful. The fact that our house is misunderstood makes us more connected. Oh, and actually one more thing that you guys probably didn't know, it's actually really hard to get sorted into Slytherin. The questions on the Sorting Hat quiz are weighed out against you, so getting in Slytherin is actually quite hard. So if you did, Welcome. But yeah guys, that is a few reasons why being in Slytherin is blimming damn awesome. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you respect all houses, give it a big thumbs up. And like I said, in the comments down below, leave what house you are in. Let's just get some house pride in the comments down below. And also hit subscribe for more Harry Potter videos. I love you guys so much. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you soon with another one. Bye.